Did you know that you can start a fire with a bag of snow? Stick around, I'm gonna show you how. And I know you can, because I've done it three times now, but this stupid camera, tripod, everything's just falling apart. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. It is true. First step is to obviously fill a plastic sandwich bag with snow. If you're lost, chances are you have one of these full of snacks. Or any bag, any material that is clear that you can twist into a, a bulb shape, you can do this with. So fill the bag as full as possible with snow while still being able to zip it up. The reason for that is snow is mostly air, so it's gonna melt down quite a bit. You're gonna end up with like minimal, like a fifth or a quarter of what you started with. So the next step is not most comfortable, but you're going to want to put this stuff close to your body as possible. If you've got an inside pocket and your jacket, stick it there because while you're gathering material, your body's going to generate heat and melt the snow into water. So let's get to it. The next step is you're going to want to gather up a bunch of material, small, small, fine weeds, debris, leaves, crunch it up and is into what's called a bird's nest. Just and I'll show you here what this right here, crunch it up into a bird's nest. Literally, it's a bird's nest. And you want that material as fine as possible so when you focus that ray of light from the sun onto the material, it has as good a chance as possible creating an ember. All right, the material that you're gonna wanna gather is gonna be largely leaf litter. Try not to get stuff off the ground as the ground contains moisture and it will be absorbed into whatever you're picking up. So moisture is gonna not play nice with creating a fire. So try to pick up things that are up off the ground, dry, and what you're looking for is dry leaves, dry grasses especially. Dry grasses are excellent. Having sunglasses is gonna really help because the ray of light, the little laser beam of light we're gonna create is gonna be very, very bright and it's probably gonna hurt your eyes. What you want is the bag to be almost half full, full enough that this is too much. You want to be able to gather all of these corners in and still be able to twist that bottom corner into a bulb shape. All right, so let's head out and I will show you the process. Once you've got all your materials together, make sure to keep them away from your bag because it will leak and if these things get wet, you won't be able to do this. Also, one thing that I found to be very helpful is gathering pine sap in an acorn cap. Good way to hold it. You want a clean, dry surface to do this on. I'm wearing gloves for this because I got a little pine material in here, but these are my sticks. You want something of pencil thickness and smaller. Set those off the side, you'll use them in a minute. Now, I have got just some stuff I pulled off the fence, vines, weeds, whatever I can find, and I'm gonna mash them into a bird's nest. Get out so you guys see what's going on. I'm gonna mash these things into a bird's nest. Like literally, we're making a bird's nest here. There you go. Well, get up there, guy. So we're gonna mash all that into a bird's nest and just set it down for now. Don't put on anything wet. This is decently dry enough. And now this other material, Take it and just start to work it right above your, your nest. So put your nest on something dry and do this business. Get that all crunched up. You want to break open those fibers as much as you can. I'm doing this right over my bird's nest so it'll catch it. Now the smaller, finer, and closer together these fibers are, the better, chan the better chance they have of catching an ember. So we got it bigger and finer and biggest over there. And just push this into your pile like that. And what I've got down here that I've gathered up is the rest of this fine material. I pick it up and put it on the top. And take my gloves off for this part. Don't get slivers, they suck. So put it all together. Now if there's something in here that's wet I mean, it doesn't crack, it's bends. Get rid of it. You don't want that mess in there. And try not to pick up stuff off the ground because the ground contains moisture. It's gonna make this a lot harder. All right, there we go. 
a bird's nest. Now I'm going to angle this slightly toward the sun so that I've got a perfect parallel to the sun now. Now the last thing you want to get is some really fine dusty powdery material. Be right back. And here is the last bit of stuff that I've gathered. Just some really dry stuff that I'm gonna crunch again over the top of my bird's nest. Try to maintain it in my hand as much as possible. I'm gonna just crunch this down, tear it into the tiniest, dustiest mess I can make. There we go. Now, all right, so you're gonna want to let a little water out so that you can wrap all these corners into one uh, mess so you don't have them sticking out just one corner so we're gonna drain some water here and try to get all the air out as well so I'm gonna seal it up while the water's leaking out there we go a bag of water hopefully that's enough <laughs> so then gather your corners like a so gather your corners in like this so you got that and then twist get your corner in there twist it's gonna leak water, which is why I'm doing it over here, and not next to where I'm making a fire. Now don't twist too much so that you burst this. That's, that's bad. And then, there you go. That's what you wanna get. Now, grab your bulb of, your essential to magnifying glass. Good and twisted, make sure you don't drip any water on your, on your nest. So, yeah, get rid of the water. You don't want anything on your nest. <laughs> nest. All right, buckle up my friends. It's gonna take some patience here. You wanna find a flat surface. I'm gonna choose this little guy here and place it in the middle. That way I've got something a little bit easier to focus my nest on or focus the ray of light on. Put your sunglasses on because this part gets bright. Start wide and move narrow. I start seeing smoke usually. It's gonna take your eyes for a second to adjust, but you should be all right. And like I said, have patience because this part takes a while. Sometime, last time it took me 30 minutes. You won't watch, I'm not gonna make you watch all 30 minutes. Now that I know I can get smoke, oh yeah, there we go, there we go. See that? Once you start seeing a good amount of smoke, you can start blowing just to help that ember along. But this isn't a race unless, unless you're freezing to death. And don't be afraid to go in and adjust your, your little nest here. Notice it helps once you start to get that thing to burn. Leave it in the same place. You see a lot of smoke, pick it up, cup it inward, and blow more. Almost there.
we go. Whew. There you go. Now grab your twigs, plop them right on top, and you got a fire. How about them apples, huh? Third time I've done that. There you go. Fire with a bag of snow. Melted with the snow. What are we into this? 17 minutes and I've got myself a fire. That works pretty good, huh? I feel like the rest is self-explanatory, so I funneled it. Alright, sorry about the white light, but that's how you do it. Love you faces. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Peace.